we have a uniform ladder so the weight will act at the center and that's 30 G it's resting against a smooth wall so I'm going to have a reaction force X and we are resting on rough ground so a reaction force and friction we have a boy who's going to go up the ladder I'm going to put him here and his weight is 30 G we're told that mu is 0 0.3 and we're told that the angle the tan of theta is 2 if I consider that as 2 over 1 and use Sokotoa tan's opposite over adjacent if I have theta and my opposite is 2 and my adjacent is 1 then using Pythagoras my hypotenuse will be 2 squared plus 1 squared so that's the square root of 5 and I can use the fact then that sine theta is 2 over root 5 and cosine theta is 1 over root 5. Alternately throughout the question if tan theta equals 2 then theta is the inverse tan of 2 and we can use the fact that theta is 63.434 degrees. Resolving vertically, I have that R must equal 30G plus 30G, so that's going to be 60G. I know that friction equals mu R, so that's 0 0.3 times 60G, which gives us 18G. And I also know that X must also equal friction. So that's 18G. We'll take moments about the base. And the first I hit is the centre of gravity of the ladder. That's 30G. And I'm adding this angle on here at theta. Beside the angle adjacent, so it's cosine. We've gone halfway up the ladder, so that's 5. So that moment is going to be 30G times 5 cosine theta. The next force that we hit is the boy. I'm going to say that I've gone A up the ladder. Again, I'm adding beside and theta. His weight's 30G. So this moment is going to be 30G times A cosine theta. And both of those are anti-clockwise moments. The final force I reach is the X going to add this side and that is theta. Ladder's 10 metres in length so the moment is x times 10 sine theta and that's a clockwise moment and in this case the anti-clockwise moments must equal the clockwise moments. x was 18g so I have 150g cos theta plus 30 g a cos theta equals 180 g sine theta so 30 g a cos theta will be 180 g sine theta minus 150 g cosine theta I'm going to eliminate g from every term I'm going to work out my calculator 180 sine theta minus 150 cos theta and that is 93.9148 so 30a cos theta equals this and a will be 93.9148 divided by 30 cos theta which gives us 6.999 which to three significant figures is 7 meters so the boy can go 7 meters up the ladder